What's up, everyone? We wanted the van to be something that is really comfortable for us to be in in between races because we're on the road almost year long. And so when we get done with the race, we want to be back in our little home, traveling to the next one. And that's what this has been for us. So let's check it out. This is really nice. It's a swivel chair. So this is essentially like our dining area. We usually eat meals here. I have a little table that we just plop up and uh, this is our little romantic dining area. It works out really good for us. This here is our sink and we just put in a bigger sink. It's nice because we can wash a lot of dishes. It's super deep and it's hooked up. We have a water tank in the back. They're actually just these portable water jugs. They're six gallons each. So we have three of them. So we have 18 gallons on board, which is pretty good. We have a little propane burning stove. Uh, this was really important for us because we're cooking all the time. It does everything we need. For me, uh, I have a rice cooker that I plug in and that's always going. We're eating rice all the time. This and then our other very important appliance is our rocket espresso machine. This is new. We're super stoked. We promised Sevilla that if she got a podium at a World Cup, we'd get a rocket and we did. And um, yeah, it's super super sentimental to the van. We wake up and have super good coffee every morning. I flip it on from bed and it's, it's pretty extra, but we love it. It's, it's part of our little family in here. And then we have a huge fridge. Right now it's not super stocked, but usually this thing is crammed full of food and, and drinks, lots of veggies, and it usually lasts us about a week, which is great in the van. We don't have to, we can be out in the woods camping, dispersed, not have to go anywhere, just stay at the trails. We just put in these really nice drawers. They're pushed to open, which is really good for the van when you're driving around. They're not sliding out and things aren't going all over the place. We actually made this whole thing around what we had. So like we measured this to our rice cooker, our pots and pans, everything. Um, and then this is just, a lot of these are just for ride food. So we eat so much when we're riding. We're just stocked full of ride food all the time. So if you see us and you need some ride food, you know where our drawer is. Up here we have room just for miscellaneous storage. It's kind of a mess right now. We, we store like our rice, oat flour for pancakes, extra snacks for me when I get hangry, pastas. This is cucumbers. We, we actually, uh, picked this guy up at Sea Otter this year. A TV behind me, which we actually rarely use. We're usually trying to just get away from screens, but in the times that we do, it's pretty nice. It, it's a smart TV. We have a fan here. This just kind of keeps our airflow going really nice. If we crack the windows, just keeps it nice and cool. We do have an AC unit on the roof, but we do need to hook up to shore power for that. Everything else is completely run off of solar panels. We have two 170 watt solar panels on the roof and that powers everything including this espresso machine So it, we're pretty self-sufficient in here. So our bed is a queen size um, It's on a hydraulic lift so we can lift it up and down We usually keep it as low as possible the height of our bikes because we always have bikes underneath But yeah, it's it's super comfy. We actually think that this bed is comfier than the bed in our apartment So we love sleeping in here. It's really cozy. We have a nice mattress that we put in and as athletes sleep is super important to us so we didn't want to sacrifice anything on that here we have a control panel and we have an s-bar heater which taps into our fuel tank and it comes out below so if we're cold weather or up high in the mountains we can run the heater that just keeps it nice and warm and it barely uses any gas so it's really efficient and then we have an ac unit as well all right, let's go to the garage. So this is my garage. It's uh, abnormally clean right now. Usually we have four bikes in here because Sevilla and I each have both of our bikes and it's just loaded with spare parts, spare wheels. But now it's nice and tidy for you guys. So this is Van Duet's hydraulic bed. It's on a, a hydraulic, so it goes up and down. Um, but my real favorite part is this slide out that our bikes go on. And uh, 
The guys at Van Do It are big moto guys. So this is actually geared up to 700 pounds. So we can load it up with tons of cargo, way more than just our bikes, um, but it works great. Yeah, this is, a, this is about how my routine goes.